So this is a difficult situation is that uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm against retrofitting stuff, doing it later. And what happens is people build whole cities and then later they decide, oh, we have to tunnel under those and put in a subway or tunnels of some kind. And I would like to put in tunnels, but I don't want to have to dig them in places and disturb other systems. And so on this relatively raw piece of forest, it's not really raw since it's filled with forest, but uh, I want to put them in first. And so I've got a road over here, got a road over here, and a road that goes that way. And then other roads over there that connect up. And so I wonder this thing, this is the question I have for some kind of uh, architectural engineers or some kind of engineers that know more than I do. I want to put in tunnels and they'll be for walking. I'd like to keep cars on the surface. I'm not going to build tunnels for cars because that's a wider tunnel and I don't expect them to get used that much. But it'd be nice to be able to walk in the shade in a place that is uh, protected from rain, perhaps connects to root cellars and other things. But uh, And even I want to put a building over there that's dug in like two stories down and so I'd like a one story down tunnel now do I put those under a road and the question is how strong would those have to be how much structural poles and concrete and rock walls would I have to put in so I can put a you know a, a, a thickness of, of concrete over it and I don't know how thick that has to be and move that force off to the walls so it doesn't collapse it's not a safety issue and I don't know how to do that, but if I dug this down with a bulldozer and connect it up with a whole system of tunnels, that'd be really cool. And it, connect to, it could connect to buildings, and it could be that residents know where those are at and visitors don't, because this particular area I'm imagining could have festivals and things like that. Um, so that's my, that's my basic question. Let me phrase it better. Yeah, how do I do that? And, and how wide is it? Well it's probably going to be about a car and a half wide whatever that is 12 feet three four meters maybe and how thick does it have to be and even if there was an earthquake never have a structural problem I also want to run water tubes in it electrical systems I want to connect up a lot of stuff and I don't want hanging electrical wires. I don't like electrical wires in the air because they look obnoxious, but if I bury them, sometimes those circuits go bad because they're not protected enough. And I don't want to put regular tubes under roads, you know, I'm not going to put sewer. I don't have any black water since I use composting toilets. Uh, I'm not going to, well, I could transfer water through them too. That's, that's an option. And it might cross them or something. But like, what do I do about that? And then what do I do in a case like this where I want kind of an intersection plaza thing, you know, where people can be, you know, on, on a tile or concrete plaza, open space. I don't know what to do, but I know this. It's going to be a pain in the ass to put him in after I've developed other stuff. So I want to put him in beforehand. And then above it, for even cars, or because they're mo mostly going to be used for walking since I'm not expecting a lot of car traffic, but I want to put over it a roof so people can walk in the shade or out of the rain around and, and then their pathway can be lit because it is dark as hell out here in the, in the forest, especially if there's no moon or something. So that's my question. How thick do I need to make things and overbuild it? I want to overbuild it. I want to pay too much. Make it strong. Are are strong. You tell me. I need engineers. <laughs>